Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I shall be explaining you a second example on fragmentation. So in the very first example on fragmentation, which I have taught in one of my previous video lecture, in that particular example, we have, I had started with the, in the problem statement that so and so number of fragments are there and the fragment size is also so and so. Like if you remember, I had mentioned that uh, there are three fragments, each fragment, uh, uh, first fragment is of 1400 bytes, second fragment is of 1400 bytes, the third fragment is 1200 bytes, total it is making of what a size of 4000 bytes. That means the original I datagram is of 4000 bytes. So, in the problem statement itself, it was mentioned that there are three fragments and each fragment size is so and so. But now, this type of question is slightly different. In this question, the maximum transmission unit is mentioned here. You are going to decide how many fragments are possible from the given what the size of the IP, day, uh, IP packet. So, you have to first find out how many fragments are possible and then you need to uh, fill all the values related to fragmentation in the uh, packet. Uh, so, that means uh, fields related to fragmentation are what always remember that you are going to write the value for the total length, you are going to write the value for the offset, then you are going to write the value for the more fragment bit, then you are going to write the identification and finally the range of bytes. So, these things you have to write down for each of the fragment. The problem statement says that an IP router with a MTU that is maximum transmission unit of 200 bytes received an IP packet of size. 5000 for sorry 520 bytes with an IP header of length of 20 bytes what are the values relevant to fragmentation now first and foremost thing in the problem statement very clearly it is mentioned MTU is of 200 bytes fine what is MTU maximum transfer unit MTU is what so look look here this is the header length and this is the payload head uh, header and payload put together is what MTU maximum transmission unit in this example they have given the packet size that is the i datagram size is 520 bytes and header length is mentioned as 20 bytes so you can easily determine what the payload that is the data the size of the data is what in this case 500 bytes so now you came to know that the total number of bytes in this ip datagram is 500 you have to divide this IP datagram into fragments and how many fragments you need to uh, have and also what should be the size of the fragment. Size of the fragment to determine first look here the MTU size is 200 bytes. So, if MTU is 200, MTU includes what the header part. So, from 200 if you subtract to 20 you will get what 180. That means you can have a fragment of maximum 180 bytes. Now, let us see suppose if we take fragment of 180 bytes 180 and second fragment is of 180 fine and how many fragments you will be having 180 plus 180 is 360. So, total is how much 500 that means so the third fragment will have yes 120. This is what normally the students assume that is 180, 180 and uh, 16, 140 the third fragment they assume to be as 140. This way they try to proceed the problem. But one thing you have to remember if you take the fragment size as 180 then the first fragment will have range of what 0 to 179 isn't it. That means in the first fragment you are having byte starting from 0 okay, to 179 and the next fragment will have bytes starting from 180. Remember that the first byte number in any fragment should be divisible by 8. F first byte number in a fragment should be divisible by 8. This one should get satisfied. In this case 180 if you take okay, it is not divisible by 8 then you are not going to consider what this size length 180. So, for you which size uh, what should be the size of that fragment you take number which is nearest to 180 but divisible by 8. If you take 179 not divisible, 178 not divisible, 177 not divisible, 176 is divisible by 8. So, now with since 176 any number it should be first of all less than 200 fine in that less than 200 also what less than 180 because data size is 180 only less than 180 but 
divisible by 8 in this example. So now you have found out that yes, your fragment should have what data size of 176. Total data size is how much? The IP datagram 500 bytes. So you start uh, dividing, once you put in the first fragment 176, in the second fragment you put uh, 176 and so that in the third fragment how much you will be having 176 in the first 176 in the second you have to make it to total of 400 so yes 148 14 18 19 6 6 12 20 6 plus 8 20 yes 14 18 19 20 it is coming to 500 so this way you have to analyze a problem and arrive at what yes i can have this original data uh, IP, original IP datagram get divided into three fragments and each fragment will have 176 bytes of data. First two fragments will have 176 bytes of data and the third fragment will have only 148 that is the remaining part of the data because you have to make it to total of 500 bytes only. Now once you have arrived at the size then it is easy for you to write down the remaining values related to fragmentation. Now why we are saying the first byte number uh, in the fragment should be divisible by 8 because if you remember the one field in the fragmentation is offset. Offset is measured in what terms of uh, the unit of measurement for the offset is what 8 bytes. So hence the first byte number definitely has to get divisible by 8 if you are writing the offset value what in terms of 8 bytes. So let us start now. Uh, what how, how much is that uh, yes let me write it in tabular form only first uh, fragment and second fragment totally what is that you have decided you will have three fragment second fragment and third fragment three fragments are possible in this So, original IP datagram for all these three is how much? 500. Okay, for all these three it is 500, it is mentioned 500. That means your original uh, datagram will have 0 to 499 bytes as the range. Now, start writing the range for the first fragment. Range for the first fragment, you are having only 176, no 0, 0, 0 to 175. Then for the second fragment, your uh, first byte number will start from 176 and it will end at, because you have to give how many? 176 by 351. And the third fragment will start from 352 to, 352 to, uh, 352 to how much? Add, let us add 352. You are having what size as 148? So, it will be 10, 9, 10, 500. So, it will be what? 499. So, the last fragment will have what? 499. So, this is what you have written now. The range of bytes. Then once you write the range of bytes, you can write down total length also. Total length is how much here? 176 plus 20. In this case, 176 plus 20. And here it will be what? 148 plus 20. Add up, uh, add these numbers and write down better. So, it is what 6, 196, 196, 8, 148 plus 20, 168. Total length is how much? Total length is? 196 bytes, 196 bytes, 168 bytes and next you have to write down related to what offset, offset is always what, look at the first byte number that means your first fragment offset always relate uh, denotes what the position of the fragment when uh, in uh, with respect to what the complete IP datagram. So, your first fragment starts with what the position 000. zero, zero. The second fragment starts with position because it is now you are writing the offset in terms of what 8 by uh, units of measurement for offset is in terms of 8 bytes. So, divide this 176 by 8, you will get 22. Fine. And next, the third fragment is what? 
the starting byte number is 352 so divide that 352 by 8 you will get 44 the offset value is what 0444 right and then don't forget to write the more fragment bit so more fragment is what the flag value it will have two possible values either 0 or 1 this also I have explained when I taught you the complete fragmentation concept more fragment bit if it is 0 it indicates that the IP datagram is not fragmented at all or it can be the last fragment okay last fragment out of the total fragments of the IP but more fragment bit if it is 1 it indicates what it is not the last fragment it can be the first fragment or the middle fragment that means there are some more fragments that there are some more fragments of the IT, IP datagram that follows this fragment if in that fragment more fragment bit is equal to 1. So, in this case if you look here first fragment definitely first fragment is not having the complete uh, size of the data it is carrying only 176. So, we can write down the more fragment bit as 1 it indicates what there are some more fragments uh, following up. Then the second fragment will also have what 1. The third fragment which is the last fragment will carry more fragment bit as 0. 0 indicates what that is the last fragment in the and since all these fragments should have the same identification number of what identification field will be for IP datagram if you are having some you can take any random number for identification because it has got 16 bits reserved for identification 2 to the power of 16 65535 any number between 0 to 65 randomly you can choose here for the uh, what is it identification suppose if I am choosing simply I will just take randomly 18001 so that means all fragments of that IP datagram will carry what 18001 this you can choose randomly. So, this this much of information is required here in each of the fragment. Either you can write it in the tabular form or in my previous example, I had shown it in the packet header format form only, wherein I was writing the total length should be written here, the identification should be written here, the more bit should be written here and the range of bytes should be written here. This one is the range of bytes, fine. This is the more bit, offset, sorry, this will be what the total length total length and here you will be having the offset and this is your identification. So, these are the four different 1, 2, 3, 4 the same thing I am writing it here. So, this completes the solution of the uh, this particular problem. So, always remember MTU is what the maximum transmission unit. That means the network is giving an indication that I cannot accept a uh, packet of size more than 200. In this case, MTU is 200 means the network is unable to accept a packet uh, having a size of uh, packet size of more than 200. Since it cannot accept uh, uh, more than 200, that is why but original datagram is having more than 200. It is having 500 bytes. So, you are thinking of dividing that 500 into smaller packets and those smaller packets are called as fragments. So, you have to relate these fragment values values with the original IP datagram. At the receiver side all these fragments will be received even if it is not received in order the receiver will arrange these fragments in the order and then send to the higher layer protocol. Fine. Hope you people have uh, understood this kind of problem. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.